I've come to Kareka Game Reserve on the Eastern Cape of South Africa because when it comes to rhino conservation, sometimes it's quite literally about connecting the dots. And right now, we're going to go and move some rhinos to their new home. Kareka has been breeding the near-threatened southern white rhinos here so successfully that they've now reached their carrying capacity, meaning a lucky few will be moved to a new home. Covering 10,000 hectares and home to thousands of species, including lion, elephant and giraffe, Kareka is one of the most biodiverse areas in the Eastern Cape. Many years ago, this was all farmed, but seeing a wilder vision, the Rushmere family purchased the land and started to rewild and expand. Lindy is the director of the Kareka Foundation and just acquired a brand new plot where eventually a new population of rhinos will be able to roam freely once more. So basically, everything that you're seeing on that side of the river is the new land that's going to be incorporated into the protected area. This acquisition was made possible thanks to the generous donation made by the Ferguson family. Hamish, this land must mean quite a lot to you then. How do you feel about its future? Every time I've been here, I've been wowed by the amazing wildlife and hopefully we can add to that and enjoy the, to see the, the animals thriving. Yeah. When friends and, and families like the Fergusons put their hand up to say, you know, we'll purchase that property and we'll, we'll put it into the protected area for perpetuity, um, the conservation benefits of the larger space becomes greatly amplified. Today, thanks to your support and the partnership between Helping Rhinos and the Kareka Foundation, a fully grown bull called Colin, the son of Tandy who survived a poaching attack, is being translocated to form his own crash. Heading up the team is Dr. Will Folds, who grew up in the area and is one of the region's leading vets. He has seen horrific poaching attacks, but has also helped bring new life into this reserve. How are you feeling about today? We are always a bit apprehensive. We have done this once or twice before, but there are so many moving parts to this operation, so many things that could potentially go wrong that you just have to yeah, keep your, your mind open for the impossible because those are the normally the ones that trip you up. So. Yeah. With everyone briefed, it's time to start the engines. So Will is going off in the helicopter to get eyes in the sky and dart from above. I'm going to go in the cruiser so that when the rhino goes down, we can be on there straight away to give it a helping hand. Even from the air, the rhinos are difficult to see. With miles upon miles of dense bush, even a two-ton rhino can stay hidden. Will's trained eyes soon spot Colin. He lines up his shot. It's a perfect hit. Everyone rushes in. We have to work quickly for Colin's safety. A blindfold and earplugs help him keep calm. Even though it's the morning, the heat of the sun is getting stronger, and so the team need to keep him cool by throwing water over him. They constantly check his vitals and move his body to maintain good circulation. It's a privilege to get so involved. I never imagined I would have this experience and get so close to an animal that's so special. After a tracking device is installed, it's time to get him up. Colin is given an injection which reverses the tranquilizer just enough for him to stand and be guided into the trailer and moved to his new home. With months of preparation, this is the moment everyone has been waiting for. Okay. Andy, this is a pretty special rhino for you. He is an incredibly special rhino for our family. Um, he's Tandy's second calf, but he was born on the 24th of January 2017 just four days after our father, Colin Rushmore, passed away. 
And of course, we all looked at each other and said, well, if it's a boy, he's going to be called Colin. And the beautiful thing about the meaning of the name Colin is that it means victory of the people. And, you know, dad was an empower of people. Um, he was the wind in many people's sails. And what made him most happy was making other people's dreams come true. And, and this day has been a culmination of so much hard work by so many people and so many dreams have come true today. Today, a total of five rhinos have been translocated to this new land. A humongous effort by an incredible team of people. Now that they're all reunited, they can safely explore and get familiar with their new home. With Colin as the dominant bull, he will hopefully father many future generations of rhinos on Kareka. It's conservation actions like this that bring helping rhinos ever closer to establishing rhino strongholds across South Africa.